so welcome students so now let us look at the topic of differentiability till now we have seen the topic of differentiation so we have had the basic understanding of what differentiation is i hope you remember that so differentiation is in some way a measure of rate of change of one variable with respect to another variable now what is the meaning of differentiability what is the meaning of differentiability so suppose you have a function y is equal to f of x you have a function y is equal to f of x so let's say that it looks something like this so this is y is equal to f of x so we say that a differential this function is differentiable at a point corresponding to x is equal to a if this function have a differential at this point so what is the differentiation of y is equal to f of x at x is equal to a so what is the definition or what is the first principle of differentiation f dash of a is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a by h. So if this limit exists, so if this limit finitely exists, finitely exists, then we say that fx is differentiable at this point a. Then f of x is differentiable at x is equal to a and if this limit does not exist then we say that f of x is not differentiable at x is equal to a so there are certain cases where this limit does not exist so when what are the different cases where the limit does not exist so limit does not exist if the right limit is not equal to left limit. So if, as we know, every limit has two parts, the right limit and the left limit. So if the limit has to exist, both right limit and left limit should be equal to a finite number. So if the right limit, that is limit h tends to 0 plus f of a plus h minus f of a by h, is same as limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h, 0 minus f of a plus h minus f of a by h. So if both are equal to a finite number, then we say that, then we say that f of x is differentiable at x is equal to a. So if the right limit is not equal to left limit or if the limit does not exist or if the limits go to infinity, then we say that the function is not differentiable at that particular point. So differentiation differentiability is a very straightforward concept. It involves calculation of this limit. So if this limit exists, then it is differentiable. If it does not exist, it is not differentiable at the point A. As simple as that. So next we have something called the right differentiation and the left differentiation. So limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a by h. So this is the value of differentiation at x is equal to a. So the right limit, the right limit is called the right differentiation. The left limit is called the left differentiation. So limit h tends to 0 plus f of a plus h minus f of a by h is called the right derivative of f of x at x is equal to a. The right derivative of f of x at x is equal to a. Similarly, limit h tends to 0 minus f of a plus h minus f of a by h is called the left derivative. Left derivative of f of x at x is equal to a. 
so this is one way to write the definition of differentiation at a point a so you can express the same limit in a different way in some questions you might be asked in that form so we'll try to understand another form also so if you put a plus h is equal to some number c so let a plus h is equal to some number c so as h tends to 0 as h tends to 0 where does c go c tends to a right as h tends to 0 c tends to a now if you express the limit in terms of c instead of h so limit c tends to a f of c minus f of a divided by h is nothing but c minus a so this is also the definition of differentiation of f at x is equal to a so limit c tends to a f of c minus f of a by c minus a that is a number tends to a is c tends to a f of c minus f of a f of c is the y value here f of a is the y value here so the difference in the y values by the difference in the x values where c tends to a that is c is very 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 close to a so here you are finding the change in the values of y by change in the values of x as c tends to a we are looking for infinitesimal changes in y by infinitesimal change in x so this ratio is called the differentiation and the right limit is called the right derivative the left limit is called the left derivative as simple as that so now we have understood what the right derivative is what the left derivative is and only if both exist and both are equal then we say that f of x is differentiable at a point x is equal to a